guys. So we're here to talk about this camera today. I've got it right here and to keep it really simple. Um, there's a lot of features on this thing you can read about online. Um, but we're just going to talk about how my kids are actually using it right now. I have a two-year-old son and I'm a uh, professional photographer. Um, that's what I do. Here's some of my cameras. I've got my old film stuff. This is my daily driver, my Nikon Z8 with the 50 millimeter 1.2s is my favorite lens right now um, but that all said I really wanted to get my son into photography with a camera that if he drops it isn't gonna break his toe or isn't gonna break thousands of dollars worth of gear so um, I wanted to get something like this guy right here um, this guy is about 18 bucks right now on Amazon on sale they range between probably 20 and 30 normally um, depending on which one you get in particular. This is the uh, dinosaur. They have like a unicorn or something from the same brand. Um, I really didn't know what to think when I got this. I didn't know if it was going to be much better than just handing him like an old point and shoot from when we were kids. I have some of those and uh, it was difficult for him because the touch screen, you could actually touch the screen on some of those and it would mess with the focus and he ended up just like kind of button smashing on it. So this thing is a lot more simple. Um, there is a screen in the back, um, but you can't, like, uh, you won't be able to see it well if I turn it on just because of the exposure in my room. is very It's not very bright, and this screen is going to be very bright. But it's very um, simple. There's analog buttons back here. <laughs> if your kid is used to an iPad, though, they are going to just do this. But um, they'll figure out how to use the analog controls if you just teach them. And then so um, you go ahead and you can take photos with this thing. You can take videos with this thing. You can make, um, you can play games on this thing. A bunch of different stuff. There's a lot of different settings. You can set the timer on it. Um, but in real life experience, um, I have a two-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter. So far, my son is the one who's been more interested in it. And at his age, he's just doing the pictures. Um, so he's just shooting pictures um, uh, everywhere we go. I'm going to show some clips. Dinosaur camera. Dinosaur camera is right. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. You want to take pictures? Oops. That's, you turned it off. Press that button to turn it on. Cool. This is how you take pictures, that top button. Okay. You press it. Now aim it towards me and you press this top button. See up here? Push your thumb here. Thumb there. Then she took a picture. Yeah. Oh. You're taking pictures of her? Yeah. Show me. Daisy picture? Mimi picture? How about doggy picture? Good job. Huh? I'll play you. <laughs> Good job, huh? Good job, sir. Ha ha. You're here. I am here. Give mommy a kiss. My Tiggy. Okay. Oh, Tiggy. Pictures of Tiggy. There's Tiggy. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the tiger. Where's Daniel Tiger? You want pictures of him too? Yeah. Go get him. Get pictures. Mm. Go. <laughs> you took pictures of his backpack, or his? You want his face too? Face too. Yeah, let's get pictures of his face. <laughs> All right. So again, some pros and cons with this thing. Just to wrap it up, um, it's it's very nice the way it's built. Um, it's not gonna hurt you, no matter if it like hits you in the head. If you have siblings and they throw it at each other, or they have any tantrum or anything like that. Um, that's one of my favorite parts about this camera. It's got a lot of features, the selfie camera. There's a lot of growing, a lot of learning that can be done with this camera. All right, and now for the cons. So for the cons that we have here, um, battery life, I don't know what's to be expected. I mean, it's kind of like any mirrorless camera. You're gonna have to throw it on the charger at the end of the day if your kid uses it as much as my kids use it. Um, it's got about like a day or two of charge if you're doing a heavy use taking like hundreds of photos a day. 
Um, maybe if you're doing less than that, it might last a week. I don't know. I haven't tried that. I don't know what kind of like parasitic drain comes off this thing. It does use a micro USB cable, which is kind of annoying. It would be nice if it was USB-C. Um, I still do keep a Mac micro USB because I have a lot of older camera gear, but uh, not everyone has the old school cables like in their car and stuff. So if you're traveling, make sure you bring the cable that's included with this thing. And then um, also the last con is the image quality is not great. Um, it looks perfectly fine on this two inch screen. Um, but if you pull it up on your computer, like if you take this SD card out, which is removable, I think um, this is actually the biggest mistake in this whole product. It is a cool idea um, if the pictures were like raw files or something like that and you could do something with them. But they are um, very low quality. They look like uh, maybe 90s flip phone kind of quality pictures. Um, not even like the the point and shoot cameras that we used to have back in the 90s like those actually have decent like 12 megapixel cameras that you can do raw photos off of this isn't going to be like that but i don't think it's meant for that it's meant for the kids mainly to look at it on the back of the screen and on the back of the screen it looks perfectly fine for um what they're doing what they're using it for that being said um i'm one of the most paranoid parents out there when it comes to toys so if um, there's any kind of way they could choke on anything or like get it stuck around their neck and or anything like that uh, I avoid it so it does come with a neck strap if you're gonna be watching your kids at all times you can use the neck strap it seems pretty cool uh, me if I go pee or something I'm just paranoid something's gonna happen so I leave that off but then the only last thing that worries me about this camera is the removable SD card um, my son he doesn't really eat like random stuff but my daughter at the park like if she grabs stuff she kind of likes to put it in her mouth so this is one of the things that if she was able to get it out and maybe chew on it she could swallow it and it could be a problem um that's my main concern with this thing but other than that and uh i think it's a great purchase especially for the price go check it out on amazon i'll put the link below and i'll post some more videos of us using it in the future definitely going to be coming with us on all our vacations stuff like that um, but we do as I am a photographer we are going to want something in the future for them to grow into something like you know the Canon point and shoot camera maybe even a GoPro or something very durable like that um, just for the image quality once that becomes something that they're more interested in um, but I think they still have a couple years to go um, and if you're not even if if your kids are older they probably still have fun with the videos and the games there's snake on here so if you're used to 90s phones you like 90s phones we got snake some other block pusher and stuff like that some puzzle games so it's definitely a cool toy go check it out i'm gonna stop boring you guys um peace